Hey, what's up, guys? It's Moogle Lord here, and today we won't be talking about video games. We will be talking about a particular software instead that many content creators, such as myself, uses. Well, apparently, that there's a new up uh, update policy for this particular software that allow them to be able to dig into your work and monitor your work in order to find out if it's appropriate for their program. And if it violate their terms of services, they can pretty much ban you from ever using their program. So what am I you talking about? Well, I'm talking about Adobe. Yes, that's right, Adobe Photoshop or the whole entire cloud service. Um, Adobe is trying to push this new up uh, update agreement or policy that allow them to pretty much moderate your content to see um, all your work and what you're doing. And if they decide that it's inappropriate or anything of a sort, they can flat out pretty much ban you or disconnect you from their services. And this is crazy. So before we can get to the details and how this can impact anybody and everybody, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell for more gaming content here on this channel. Now, the thing that I find ridiculous about this is we just got finished talking about um, in the last video where I essentially talked about Unreal, how the Unreal Engine wants to enforce coders in, in developers who do all the coding with the unreal engine if you're using their engine they want you to pretty much use inclusive language in coding and i'm telling you guys right now go check that out i find that ridiculous but anyway we starting to see now there are a lot of our even our applications that we use in our daily life now they're trying to enforce this nonsense into these programs now we already had to deal with it within the indoctrination in our schools we have to do with the brainwashing from the mainstream media and we also have to deal with the journalists with a lot of these propaganda and narratives that they're pushing and now we can't escape it because now they're trying to take control over the things that we use every day especially when it comes to adobe products which i use it to edit a lot of my videos to make for you guys which I find kind of ridiculous, but we're going to dive into this article and then I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on what's been going on with, with this in general. So it says Photoshop Terms of Service grants Adobe access to user projects for content moderation. And this is ridiculous. So it says Photoshop's newest terms of services has users agreed to allow Adobe access to their active projects for the purposes of content moderation and various reasons. And this is where it's getting out of control because content moderation, and it's, this this moderation buzzword, man, it, it, it's up to no good. And the thing is, now what they're doing is, and I start, you're starting to see it, you see it in politics, you see it with a lot of these uh, different um, companies and these organizations, when they talk about moderation, they always try to use a justified cause which they do by attacking your feelings. Oh, we're trying to do it because we're trying to protect the children. Oh, we're trying to do it because we're trying to protect minorities. Oh, we're trying to do it because we're trying to protect women. But all it is, they use that as a front in order to pass uh, policies like this so they can control you. This is about control. These companies don't give a damn about us. They don't get give a damn about your gender. They don't give a damn about your ethnicity. They don't give a damn about any of that. They will just only use that as a shield in order for them to slide and implement things like this to monitor all of us, all of us. Doesn't matter what side of the spectrum you're on. If you guys, no matter what side you're on, you all should be upset about this. You all should be arguing over this or whatever like that. Because once they go after one side, they're damn sure going to start coming after you. And that's how it all started out. So this has caused concern among professionals. I bet it does. As it means Adobe will have access to projects under NDA, such as logos for unannounced games or other media projects. Sam, uh, Sam Centala, um, the founder of Songhorn Studios noted the language of terms on Twitter, calling out the company's overreach. So here we go right here in this tweet. So am I reading this right, Adobe Photoshop? I can't use Photoshop unless I'm okay with you having full access to anything I create with it, including NDA work. And this is a big lawsuit, a large lawsuit waiting to happen. Because how can you control something like that? How can you monitor something like that? Because yes, you can be a contractor underneath an NDA working for a game company, movie studio. What about even in politics and stuff like that? So they have that right to be able to go into your stuff and look over to see what exactly that you're that you're uh, using their software for. But I want to get into this um, as well. What is the real reason? And I just theorizing here. But let's continue for a second. 
Tech companies are increasingly eager to su supervise and spy on their users. Recently, Microsoft announced an AI-powered product called Recall. Recall scans the screens of users, allowing them to search their past um, activity in common terms. So the user agreement also leaves open the possibility to, to train AI using user um, generated content saying they can use the content they retrieve, improve our services and software. And this is why I keep saying there's a lot of you guys out there who celebrate AI, want AI to take over gaming, AI to replace localizers, all this other type of stuff. But there's also a spin side to this. You know, you can advocate for AI, but AI is the same exact thing that can be used against you. And what we see right here about Microsoft announcing AI app that remembers everything you see and do. This is a sneaky way to implement AI in such a way. We're looking at AI on a simple thing, you know? Yes, AI could help to pretty much help with programming and release some of the code of programming in games. Yes, a lot of you guys don't like the localization, would like AI for that, but AI, man, is a double-edged sword, and if it's in the wrong hands, it's going, it's going to cause a ripple effect within society itself, especially if it goes unchecked, and Microsoft is one of those companies that's definitely going to do that. Why do you need AI to remember everything that we say, everything that we do within the programs? Yes, it's not only to spy on us, but they also want to know our behaviors so they can pretty much throw more ads at us, put more ads online, put more ads on our social media, put more ads in our video games. They want to do all that. And this is damn like just wrong altogether. So it says Microsoft had released details about Recall, an AI power app that remembers everything you see uh, um, and do on your computer. Why the fuck would you want to put that app on your computer? Why? But in my personal opinion, Microsoft has already been doing that with Windows since the very beginning. That knows what you're doing and stuff like that. But why would you want to have an AI powered app put on your computer to, to do such things? And I wouldn't be surprised that they're putting they will put that shit or have your computer install that through an update automatically anyway. So there's nothing like so far reaching that Microsoft will go and other corporations go above and beyond to invade and impede on your privacy. The point of recall is allow users to search things they remember seeing or working on without remembering the exact name or file. An example from Windows latest users can search up something like chart in purple text and recall and uh, uh recall can search through everything you work for uh, worked on for a chart with purple text it's an abstract type of search engine that hasn't really been seen before see and they're marketing as if hey this is to help you but you got to look at the underlying it's remembering everything it's learning it's remembering everything that you did so if it's remembering that what else is it remembering and what else is it being taught on the surface, it looks like it's something that, that's convenient that will be convenient for you, but this is something that's actually against you. But it's under the guise that hey, that we're trying to help you. Look at this as an analogy. Look at this as a metaphor for what we're going through in society right now. That hey, check this out. We all for inclusiveness. We all for diversity. We all for this. We all for that. On the surface, it looks like that, but underneath it. It's impeding on your rights. It's impeding on your freedom of speech, and it's in in everything. That's what this, that's what this is a perfect example of. So, luckily or unluckily, if you actually want this, Recall is only available for systems with Snapdragon processors, as a typical AMD and Intel CPUs can't achieve the required tops trillions of operations per second to work with with Recall. Users are concerned about possible privacy concerns, and while recall might be a powerful tool in the business setting, its potential to record and remember what users have looked at can't be overstated. Yes, they can't be overstated. Even if it's not designed to look at your shit, it's going to look over and look at your shit. That's what it does. It's a sneaky way. It's an infiltration application. It's an infiltration software. To, to impede on your personal life. That's what this is all about. And they think they're slick by trying to incorporate a lot of this nonsense. So all I'm saying is you have to be careful out there. And yes, it's definitely time to look at alternatives. And I love uh, Premiere. I love um, Photoshop. A lot of people say use GIMP. I hate GIMP. And there's a lot of alternatives to Photoshop. But when I try a lot of these alternatives, you have to do so many extra steps to get the same results that <laughs> Adobe that Obi, Adobe does with a click of a button it gets it done while I have to use extra steps just to get the same results it's just too much work especially when my workflow 
or that I'm used to, that I'm constantly doing, I need to go on the snap. I got to get it in, get out, or whatever like that. So it is a shame that we start. That's why in, uh, alternatives are important. Start looking for alternatives. And those of you guys who are creators out there, start creating alternatives. Start coming up with different things um, you know, that you can provide. There's, there's a market for this. For you to be um, become successful and because people are trying to get away from this nonsense because they're trying to control everything. This is your time to capitalize and give the people, give society what they need and what they want. And people will come in droves to be able to support it. But you have to create it first. So get off, you have to get off your ass. And if you got the talent, you got the skills, start putting it into some use. Stop relying on these corporations to give you the things that you need for your everyday life when you have the ability and the potential to be able to create it yourself, which is which I'm proud to see a lot of people trying to go out there and do it, especially like I said before, my own indie comic book company that will be launching um, this fall um, as well. I'm going out to branch out to do my own thing, just like Miles Morales said. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> in the Spider-Verse, I'm gonna do my own thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my own thing and you should do your own thing as well. So that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, that subscribe button for more gaming content here on this channel. This is Mugen Lord, signing off. I'll see you game fiends later. Peace out.